What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So today's a pretty exciting day. We are finally ready to test drive the GTO and start tuning and all of that stuff. Uh, today we're going to be bringing it over to the alignment shop. We're also going to be doing a little bit of data logging and stuff like that. So as some of you guys might know that have followed the channel, this is our 05 GTO. Um, we got it as a complete roller and it had nothing in it, interior, uh, engine transmission, suspension, brakes, everything was off of it. We replaced and upgraded everything. We added a D1 SC Pro Charger into the mix and uh, we've got it running now. Everything seems to be good with it. So we are finally ready to start tuning on it. Uh, we got to get it over to alignment to go ahead and tighten everything up and get everything set where it needs to be because like I said Everything on this car is brand new. So we need to dial that in. So let's go ahead and jump right into it All right guys, so we just went ahead and grabbed our other set of wheels. Uh, these ones here are 275 6015s. These are 275 5015s. I mean, I knew the other ones we had were a lot bigger, but when you really put them next to each other, they're a lot bigger. So let's go ahead and get this thing jacked up and start swapping the tires out. All right guys, not sure if you can see my screen, but we're gonna go ahead and flash a file into this thing. It's pretty simple. So we've got the uh, MPVI2 plugged in, key on, engine off. Uh, we hit open, I'll show you that real quick. We go to the top left here, open file. We select the file that we wanna load, hit open. And we're gonna go up to right vehicle now he's already made a base tune for this thing so this is a secondary file or whatever so we don't have to do right entire we're going to do right calibration you hit right starts doing its thing all right so now it's complete it says right complete we're going to hit close and then I'm going to go ahead and turn the key off and what I like to do is I'll turn it off and I don't know if you guys can see it but there's a little check engine light over here that stays on for a few seconds. I just wait until that goes off. That's off. Then we can put the key back in. I'm just going to go to key on for a second and come over here. Your tuner might not be asking you to do this but I'm going to log it so that if we have an issue with it starting so we open up VCM scanner we're gonna hit connect to vehicle I'm gonna start scanning before I actually start the car alright so now we're scanning on the clutch and another thing I like to do just to check and make sure that our data is coming through how it should I tap the throttle you can see it in the scanner there we're getting the throttle so I'm gonna go ahead and depress the clutch we're gonna go ahead and try to fire this thing So now that we uh, pulled it up on here, I'm going to go ahead and save this log file. So I'm just going to go to the little floppy up there with the little lightning bolt. And what I do is I click on our old one and I'm just going to go in here. That was 14. I'm going to change this to 15. And then I'm just going to title it whatever you want. 
and then you hit save and that's it and then it'll get saved in our case to dropbox and it'll get sent off to the tuner all right guys so we've got the logger going um touch the throttle everything seems good i'm gonna go ahead and start this thing up and let it warm up a minute still working on the tuning quite a bit let the logger run for a minute get out and check a few things and then I think we're good to go guys
about shoes though. Trying to shift with these boots is messing me up. It, I keep catching the brake pedal uh, when I'm lifting my foot off the clutch. Yep. And it's been freaking a year since I drove stick, so. Right. Gotta get a little bit more play time in with it. Remind me when we get to the house after I save this log yep. to uh, adjust the rear shocks. I'm gonna stiffen them up so that if we go for another ride, if he sends me a revision, yep. hopefully it won't, the tires won't rub as bad. Okay. This thing's gonna be a riot. Yeah, All right guys, so last thing you guys seen, we took this thing for a ride. It did great. This thing was pulling hard. It was flying, honestly. Uh, we did get a tune revision uh, in the email, so we're ready to go ahead and flash a new tune on it. He did say that it was a little bit rich, which I could tell had a little bit of smoke from the extra fuel. And also he said that there was a little bit of aggressive timing in it, so we had to dial that back a little bit. But that is all ready to go, so we'll flash that up here in a little while and take this thing for another ride. But what I'm doing right now is we had a little battery in this thing, um, little tiny guy. So it kind of had uh, a slow or extended crank sometimes. And if you were flashing it or working on the tune file for a little while with the key on, the battery would drain down pretty fast. But that was the biggest battery that we could fit in the engine bay at the time. So now that we have the battery relocated to the trunk, I did go ahead and go with the bigger battery box when I did that for this reason. I wanted the option to put a bigger battery in here if we needed to. So what I did was I went ahead and went over to AutoZone and got ourselves a little bit of a bigger battery. This one has a lot more cranking amps and it's a thousand uh, regular cranking amps and I think 840 or 850 cold cranking amps. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in here real quick and see if it seems to help with the starting. I know having the battery in the trunk sometimes can make it a little bit of a slower start or a slower crank because you got all that extra cable for the power to go through. But when you put a jump box on it, it would crank super fast. So I think all of our connections and things like that are fine. I just think that the battery is uh, underpowered for where it is. You might be able to tell, I sound a little funny. I just got over a cold. I was sick for the last maybe three, four days. Felt pretty crappy. Uh, did take COVID test, not COVID guys. So don't have to worry about that. But now that I'm feeling a little bit better, we're gonna get back to working on this thing and see if we can't get it back out and take it for another ride. So let's go ahead and swap this battery, flash the tune, and then get it back on the road. All right guys, so it's just me in the car today. So bear with me here. I'm gonna do the best I can while also trying to data log here for the tuner. So let's do connect to vehicle, start scanning. Like I mentioned before, I always check to make sure that my throttle pedal is reading, which it is. So we're good there. I'm going to let this thing warm up for a minute and then we will take it down the road and do a pull or two and come back with it and send it off to the tuner. Alright guys, I don't think I mentioned it before but the rev limiter was set at like right around, I want to say 4800. Um, right now, he's got it set at 54. Um, I set my shift light at 52 just to be safe. So we'll probably shift at or before 52. I just set the shift light to remind me in case I forget.
damn guy, she got right to the rev limiter that time. I'm gonna try to start, maybe go for third this time. And we'll do it a little bit uphill. Maybe that'll help slow us down a little. it a touchy it's like laggy like when you try to burp the throttle to take off or to like get moving it just doesn't seem to be right there not sure if that's tune related or what exactly that is but let me tell you guys what 14 15 pounds of boost will really wake up a little stock bottom NLS I think we're only getting to like I don't know maybe 10 11 pounds right now but we're rev limited at uh, like 54 so she should make right around 13 14 which is what I was hoping for so feels like an animal guys I am so excited I should probably turn around and send them this log file because I could just keep driving this thing all day long I don't want to do any damage to it at least not yet try to get uh, get at least a few uh, trips to the track or something with it before we go hurting it too bad I mean, it feels good. It feels strong. Sounds good. Needs a tiny bit of messing around drivability wise, but it's really not that bad. I mean, we've only had a couple tunes on it as far as driving it so far. Um, not sure if I've mentioned it to you guys yet, but I am using Ed G tuned. Um, I will link all of his information in the video guys in the description below. Super good dude to work with. He's remote tuning us right now. Um, answers all your questions. Help you figure out what's best for your setup and uh, what you should do tuning wise as far as like map sensors, um, things like that. He's been really great to work with. And we had some issues with this car as far as the computer goes and uh, he helped me work right through it and got it figured out and got us taken care of so still got some dialing in to do but that's a given Now what we're going to do is go ahead and shut the car off. Now I'm going to hit stop scanning. Going to hit save log file as. And what we do is so this one was 17. 
So I'm going to go back to 16, click on, this, click on it so that it saves the whole name. And we'll just take the 6 out of there, put a 7. And then I just put a couple notes in here as far as... Alright guys, so as you had seen, the uh, camera actually died on me in that last clip there. We were just going ahead and saving the tune file so we could send it off to the tuner. Uh, we use Dropbox. It's been working really well for us. But I am super excited with how this car is coming along. This thing is ripping. We haven't even gotten to get into the higher RPM or turn the meth kit on. So I'm really excited to see where this thing goes. This video is starting to get a little bit longer than I would like. So we're going to go ahead and wrap today's video up right here. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell. That way you get notified when we post the next video where we will be able to get this thing into some higher RPM. We're going to turn the meth kit on and see what this thing can really do. We're going to max out that little D1SC blower. So we will catch you on the next one.